What's up y'all, Jacob Owens here for the Buff Nerds and today we're gonna talk about Fuyutech. And I know what you're thinking, Jacob, that's a gimbal. <laughs> what are you doing with that gimbal? Handheld gang all day, bro. Handheld gang, let me explain. So recently, Fuyutech sent me a gimbal to test out and try out. And again, I don't have anything against gimbals used in the right manner. I have something against them being overused and used for every project and video that you do. Every tool has its rightful place. Just like a painter, you're going to use different paint brushes for different strokes and different styles of painting. You're not going to use the same paint brush for every single painting. And I talk about that in my handheld filmmaking, gimbals are the worst video. You can watch that, I'll link it in the description below. Um, so yeah, basically that's, that's my opinion on gimbals. Um, and Fujitech recently sent me this one to test out and try out for smaller DSLR cameras and so I put it through the paces. So first off, right out of the bag, this thing is really cool and I'm just going to overlay some footage of me using it um, as I talk here but the portability, the way it just kind of snaps down on itself and closes up, great for travel, it's super lightweight, it's not heavy. Um, and this is the kind of built out bigger or the biggest version of it I guess you could say and it comes in a small little case So yeah, you can build it really down or you can uh, build it how you see a lot of people run with just the gimbal on the single stick so It's very versatile you can use it as I had it built out here and as you see me using it in these video clips but also with this singular uh, little handheld device here and you can control both of them with the movement of a joystick make the camera look around tilt up down left right so for the price i think this thing is like 499 dollars super affordable if you've been in the market for a gimbal or looking for a portable lightweight gimbal that's um you know versatile and, and gets the job done i would highly recommend this i'm not a fan of the Ronins in a sense because they're not, you can't have two different options like this. Um, it's kind of one size all thing. It's a little bit bigger and bulkier. The way this folds down and you have, you kind of get two gimbals in one is really important. So if you're looking for a gimbal, highly recommend this. I'll link it in the description below. So check out Fuyutech. Appreciate them for sending me this gimbal to review and test out. I apologize if the lighting keeps changing, the sun's going in and out of clouds and whatnot, so if the lighting looks weird and all of a sudden you're like, Jake, inconsistencies in your lighting, that's why. There's a big window right there and the sun's going behind clouds. So the cameras I can fit on this thing are smaller kind of mirrorless cameras, DSLRs. I ran the 6D Mark II on it. If you have a 5D, a Sony A7S, a Sony A6300, A6500, any kind of those smaller DSLR or mirrorless cameras will fit perfectly and great on this and is a, uh, a great tool to get those smooth shots that you're looking to get. And again, it's more than just the gimbal. You have those controls where you can really kind of look it around and you don't need a second operator. So it's very all-in-one, compact, versatile gimbal for like 500 bucks. Pretty awesome deal. So again, if you're looking for a gimbal, link in the description below, go check it out. Fuyu Tech, thank you for blessing the kid. And uh, so some of the shots I'm gonna show you guys uh, while I'm playing um, is from my new house. So if you're wondering like why there's this footage of this kind of random house that you guys have never seen before, it's my new house. So I'm just kind of floating around my house testing this thing out and uh, it was pretty awesome. With that being said, I'm Jacob Owens for the Buff Nerds and I'm out.